Hi and welcome back. So in the last video you saw how to design your get response form and we say that once you're done with the design and you publish the form you can take this code and embed the form on your website and in this video I'm going to show you how you can embed it on our WordPress website. So if you want to use this form on get response maybe you don't have a website you can just click here and you can share this link on social media or with your email list or anywhere else all right you can just share this link and when people click on it it will take them to get response and they will be able to sign up on your form on get response so just take this link and put it on the browser and you'll see it shows you your form so for me i will install this on my wordpress site so i will copy there and if you don't have the skills to do this on your own you can send it to your web designer maybe you hire somebody on fiverr and they give you the email address you just put their email address there and then you can send them the instructions there and then once you click on send message it will send them this code along with your message so for me i'm here on my wordpress sample website and i want to add the form that i've just created i want to add it here so what i will do is i will log into the site and i want to add it here on the widget on the widget section so this is a sidebar so in wordpress if you want to add something on the widget you can just come here if you're on the front end and you're already logged in you can go into widgets or you can go into customize but the easiest way for me i always find is to use this so i just click there to go to widgets and if you don't have this sidebar up here this top bar you just come in here and go under appearance and you can go into widgets okay this will bring you in the same location where we are now so if you want to add the code from get response copy the code and then you see custom html this is a widget that we want to add and we want to add it on the blog sidebar so depending on the theme that you're using in wordpress you will have different sidebars and they may have different names from the one that i'm using okay so just choose where you want to add it and in wordpress 5 you can just click here to click the widget where you want to add it the location where you want to add the widget and then you can click add widget or you can just do it the old way by dragging an element and i want to drag it and put it at the very top okay and once i'm here i'll just paste that and i don't have to add a title but you can add a title for your form so once i save this if i come back to the front end and i reload the web page you'll see our form has been added here okay so that's one way you can add it on the wordpress sidebar or if you want to add it also on the footer you can do that as well so as i said it all depends on the widgets that you have on your wordpress theme themes are built differently maybe you create a different form you can copy the link and then come down here paste the code click on save and if you come back and reload you'll have your form there and you'll also have the other form here so one thing you need to note is that this form is pretty wide so if you're building one if you're building a form that you want to put on your wordpress sidebar make sure that the length is make sure that the length corresponds to your sidebar okay make sure you do this end of and i showed you how you can reduce the width and the sizes of elements on your form so wherever you want to put your form always know how you want to put it okay always know where you want to put it so that you can build the width and the height to match where you want to put it so let's say you also want to put this form on your web page maybe you want to create a new page and call it sign up let's see how you can do that in wordpress so i'll just come here and i'll create a new page I will call the page sign up and I can write something here just to let people know why they're signing up so just entice it, entice it and let people know why they they should sign up sign up so that you can get a free ebook sign up so you can get a free course something like that just tell them why they should sign up Once you've done this you can add another block 
So I'll just click there to add a block. And I want to look for HTML. Okay, so this allows you to add custom HTML. So this will enable us to add. Okay, we want it below that one. So just drag it down until you see the blue line. And then you can write your HTML in there. Paste the HTML that you copy from. This is a code that you copy from GetResponse. And then we'll click Publish. Okay, so once the page is published, let's click here to view the page. And you'll see that there is your, there's your page. So this is how the pages are on, on this theme. But for your theme, maybe they're different. And that's what you can have here. So let's say that uh, you want to add it on a post, on a post that already exists. What are you going to do? So let's come back here and let's find a post. So I can click to edit this post. So if I want to add the form here, I can just click to add a block. But since I've used this in the past, you can see it's here. So I'll just click there and I will paste my code. And if I update, you can view the post and you'll see that the form is within your is within your post. So that's how you can add the form on WordPress. If you want to add it on a sidebar, if you want to add it on a post, on a page, you've seen how you can do that on WordPress. So just come here, paste the code, and then put it on your WordPress web page. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.